Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a slow moving energy, but it is forward moving. It does look like someone could be trying to approach you, but this is someone who's showing up as a very careful, cautious type of person. This is someone who takes their commitments seriously, and they're not quick to commit. This is someone who's grounded, patient, and um, again, they're not impulsive. So we're seeing something happening at a very slow pace. Um, but we're seeing consistent efforts, we're seeing noticeable forward movement, but again, just very slow. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy. The Four of Wands in the reverse, Fire Energy. And the Eight of Cups in the reverse, Water Energy. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here. And they're both in the reverse. So this looks like someone you actually had a relationship with. Um, because with these cards in the reverse, it looks like a relationship that fell apart or a partnership that failed you know there's this feeling of this could be someone you actually ended things with and with the eight of cups being here it's like you may have walked away from them or they walked away from you um, there's this feeling of having decided that something wasn't going to be successful or something wasn't worth giving to anymore. Someone walked away in search of something more meaningful or something more compatible. Someone walked away believing that they were making the best decision for themselves. But with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, it's like they're returning to this situation, like they're coming back. You know, this is someone who they could be coming back with their tail between their legs, which is why we saw that slow moving energy. They're not sure of how you would receive them. They could be quite nervous about that. And there's also this feeling of them knowing that this is probably a situation that they shouldn't be returning to. Because the Eight of Cups in the reverse can show someone who's um, going against their better judgment. It's someone who is choosing to stay in a bad situation. Um, it's possible that this person tried to replace you and they failed or they couldn't find something or just the pain of the unknown or the fear of the unknown or the pain of being alone was too much for them because we're seeing someone who's coming back. Yeah, but they are, you know, it's showing up as someone who is not knowing their worth or someone who is um, settling for a situation that they believe that, you know, wasn't it for them. So let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. There's something very bold and confident about you, almost like you could have let this person go, almost like if they walked away, you didn't chase them, you held your ground, you're showing up as very confident and self-assured. Um, this person, they could even be coming back to apologize for something or to own up to something, but they are still very attracted to you. They have a lot of desire towards you and they view you as someone who has a lot of admirers. You know, it's like they're seeing your value. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the devil, Capricorn energy, the five of pentacles in the reverse, earth energy and the six of wands, fire energy. Okay, so there's this desire for reconciliation, wanting to come out from the cold, wanting to get closer to you and genuinely missing you. Like this person, you're not having you in the you're in their life, um, they could feel that something was missing. There's this can show a feeling of lack. So they do feel a bit empty without you. And you know, they couldn't last long without you. 
Um, the devil being here shows that there's an attachment. It's possible an unhealthy attachment with the devil. Um, there's also a lot of physical attraction, desire. This person is really stuck on you. And they could even be a soul tie here. This is a connection they really have a hard time walking away from. Um, the, the, this person is viewing you, though, as having the upper hand with that six of wands. They're viewing you as needing them less than they need you. You know, they do feel like to some degree you make them feel weak. You know, you, you could be like a temptation or a guilty pleasure for this person. But it does look like they, they're they struggling to walk away from this. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, we have a look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so it does look like someone is, um, you know, feeling optimistic in the sense of they are looking at you as uh, a positive energy, someone that they're very drawn to, someone who's doing well. Uh, there's something about your energy, you know, with them viewing you as the Queen of Wands and the Sagittarius, the very optimistic energy. There's something about you that's like they're associating you with a light, with the light, a positive energy. Okay, so I'm going to find another card for you. Okay, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So they could want to forgive the past. They want to heal this connection. They want to give it another shot. Okay, so I'm going to find another card for you, Gemini. Okay, we have Sweet Pea. Blissful Pleasure. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where they were only walls. So this is someone who believes they're following their heart. You know, this is someone who's like they could be telling them one thing, but the heart wants what it wants with that eight of cups in the reverse. They're coming back because they're still emotionally attached and tied to you. They still feel you in their energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. Okay, we have surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on your focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.